hello welcome to pmc tech in today's video we look at how to write a review paper so what is a review paper and how does a review paper differ from a research paper a review paper summarizes the work done by different researchers about a specific topic in a review paper you look at existing literature while in a research paper you are carrying out original findings about a particular topic and this may have experiments and interpretation of the results. So a research paper will have the following. It will have the title, abstract, background or introduction, methodology, results, discussion, conclusion and the references. However, a review paper has the title, abstract, background and introduction the main body summary of outcomes conclusion and the references depending on the publisher's requirements you may need to put keywords which are the phrases related to your work but some of the review papers don't require keywords what information do you need in the introduction in the introduction you need to give a brief background of your review stating the problem statement and the motivation if you are reviewing a topic that has been done before, you need to specify how your review differs from others. So you have to also state the major contribution of your review. For example, you can say, this paper gives an updated review on the current control techniques by dash dash dash. Then you state the contribution to the selected topic. As you conclude your introduction, you can give an overview of how your paper has been outlined e.g the other section of the paper are outlined as follows section two because obviously introduction is your section one so you go to section two discusses different current control methods that is if current is your topic then section three discusses the challenges or whatever you have to discuss in section three you state then section four concludes references and so on and so forth when you come to the section for related works you can call it differently but i call it related work so in this section you can discuss the reviews that have been carried out in relation to your topic make sure you identify the strengths and the weaknesses of the reviews that have been carried out so this can help you to identify the research gaps that will give you an idea of what research topic you can undertake in your thesis or in your research paper ideally a review paper is not supposed to have the results section however other publishers would want you to give at least some results to verify which method is better this happened to me i had to compare at least two control methods so you have to state your key findings at least of two in the conclusion you have to state the key findings by summing up your arguments on the topic. On the references, you give a list of references that you have used in your review paper. Make sure you consider most recent publications. We are currently in 2020, so you can include most of the publications from at least 2020 to 2023. Make sure you present your references according to the publisher's requirements. That is in terms of referencing style. So you look at the conference paper that you are publishing in or the journal that you are publishing in. If they require you to reference using APA or using IEEE, then that is what you follow. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.